hello guys welcome to professional tutorial channel so today i'm going to show you things to do after installing linux so i have installed parrot os parrot security os so i installed the met environment i didn't install the kde one so don't worry about that so let's get started so first of all let's say sudo i love you okay <laughs> So first of all, things to do is first one number one is select your select your mirror list. So for that, for that in Parrot OS, in Parrot OS, this one is the old mirror selector tool. So nowadays the every every distro comes with the prim image. That is pre-installed Mirage Redirector that it detects the location of your use of the user by geo logical IP. It means it will select the nearest mirror server and it will set it as in the source list. So in in other distros the source file that is source list is included in etc apt source dot list. But in Parrot OS, the list is located here etc app source dot list dot d that uh, slash parrot dot list. So copy this and paste here and enter your pseudo password. So as you can see, I have the rolling main contribute non free and rolling security main contribute non free one. This one is the main main pp. So don't worry about this. So if you got the low internet speed, then you can change it. So we will exit it, and we will go to the server. As you can see here, it is either the mirror networks. Following these are the mirror networks. So depending upon your like, if you are if you are living in Bangladesh, then select this one but if you are in singapore then select this one so that's it but for other distros like calinux the repository included in etc source dot list or in, Ubo or in, De in debian it is included in etc apt source list so for selecting the this one is format and for non kali repositories you can search here but for mirrors you can go here for kali linux only for mirrors go here and go here first one or second one depending upon your geological ip geological ip it will see mirror list one it will find the so mirror list that is i'm living in india so this one is the mirror list okay guys next one is next one is updating and upgrading the system so in parrot OS, you have to update it through the sudo parrot upgrade it means it will run the apt dist upgrade also you don't need to so separately run it so you, you you have to use this but for 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 beginners use the sudo apt update then sudo apt upgrade so it is rolling security release so use this one sudo apt upgrade for knowing which which kernel you are running so you have to type u name space dot r dash r and then it will give you the kernel that is 5.6.0 i am currently running on then other third thing is install ssh server so for that type this command go and type this so I have already installed the SSH server so don't worry about this so 
SSH server is premium premier connecting tool for remote login with SSH protocols. It encrypts all traffic for to eliminate eavesdropping, connection hijacking, and other attacks. In addition, OpenSSH provides a large suite of secure training capabilities, server authentication methods, and sophistical configuration options. You know it. I am gonna show you this in uh, next video. So don't worry about this. So fourth one is remove and install packages if you have installed uh, if the system doesn't need any other package then you have to type this command it will remove the not necessary package so that's it I have to, uh, in my system I have already removed the package so don't worry about it that so and for installing the packages like OBS Studio, VLC, VS Code EM, Transmission, Game, Telegram Desktop, and OI, YouTube Dash uh, DL, Virtual Box, and Chrome. Use this command. I will I'll put this in description. So don't worry about that. As you can see, I have already installed the Chrome, Telegram, Transmission, Virtual Box, uh, VS Code EM, VLC, Tor, Firefox, and many other applications like that one more thing if you if you are in running paradise then, then you have to install the snap store for installing the spotify as you can see i installed the spotify so for that you have to type the sudo snap install snap dash store and then sudo snap store don't worry if you are running uh, ubuntu then you don't need to install this because the snap store will be uh, default package manager in your distro so as you can see I got this here we can use the GIMP, GIMP 1 genuine image man manipulation program so that's how we have to install the other applications like like the like oh, Spotify and uh, in a pie charm that's it like that okay fifth one is changing root password so if you got the root password like tour or in any other like that then you can change the password with this sudo p a s s w and you can type the password that's it the password updated successfully for look i'm running i'm not running in root that is we have to type the sudo every time so for that we have to type just su and then your password that's it we have now running in root okay and one more thing if you are running if you want to run directly on root then you can go from here also system tools and root terminal in paradise or in kde also kde environment is good and customization customizable customizable and uh, it is lightweight also so i think you sure you should install the kde one okay so sixth one is announce of you know announce of announce of is good for uh, pro proxy tool it is more like a proxy tool which encrypts uh, your data from network so you, give, you will get more info as you can see this one is developed by this man and the maintainer now go. to run the announce of you need to type the announce of task star but for the beginners i think you should enable with this sudo and then enable in boot so after booting it will enable and it will work already enable so don't worry about that third thing is virtual box if you are running any security OS like Kali Linux or Parrot OS, then you need virtual box for testing 
and uh, doing some sort of stuff so for that type this command sudo apt install virtual box and it will install the virtual box i have included it down here okay i didn't so pardon me sudo apt install virtual box it is i have already installed so you can type it here and as you can see we can use the snapshot feature which will be very helpful we can add the new system and install it you know it better than me so next one is docker i will explain this in next video but you should know this what is it, what it is so docker is a tool designed to make it easier to create deploy run application by using containers so containers allow developer to package up an application with all of the part it needs such as library other dependencies and deploy it as one package so it's, it's more like a more like a virtual box as you can see so i will explain this in whole this whole whole thing in next video so please like my channel and support me so next thing is next thing is quack uh, quack you know that quack is very very popular terminal so for that you have to just type sudo apt install quack so with alt t we can get terminal sudo apt install quack so i have already installed it so don't i don't need to install it again so type quack and type type f12 then you will get the, this thing this is very helpful and magical also so type anything like ls on anything okay and type f12 to cancel it and here type control c it will be gone so next thing is after that after that ngorg ngorg is a cross cross platform application that enables developer to expose a local development server to an to the internet with minimal effort the software makes locally hosted web server appear to be hosted on subdomain of ngorg.com meaning that no public ip or domain name on the local machine is needed it is more likely to use the on metasploit application which includes the payload ip address so it is very helpful i will explain and make another video on ngorg so don't worry about that it is more my video is more considered considerable on security so if you are new user then ignore the ngorg and docker thing else everything is well and good so next thing is tlp tlp optimizes linux battery life i use the tlp every day so it is very helpful and it really saves the battery so for that for installation just type sudo apt install tlp and tlp start so i already installed it so i am not gonna install it again that is tlp started in ac mode in my laptop so it is very good and uh, very well functionality so use it and for stopping use sudo tlp stop and 13th thing is tor you know tor tor means dark web dark net stuff all that so for that you need to go to tor official website and download click on download tor browser and from here depending upon your platform you can choose it and download it so i have already installed it and downloaded it so i don't need to install here it is
to our browser so it is connecting so as you can see i have connected to tor browser so next thing is genome tweak tool which is uh, which included in ubuntu distro like with this tool we can do many customization and uh, it is very helpful tool so make sure you install that also and next thing is figlet toilet i have already shown it with this figlet toilet we can we can do like this stuff this one is in slant font but if you don't want this font then you can directly use figlet and your command that's it like this we can use this figlet another thing is setting up the btc wallet if you have the cryptocurrency like btc or ethereum then you can you can use the btc wallet in paratrace it is included in it is already included it so i have here it is electrium so i have, I have my wallet set up already so you need to set up the wallet and use the btc header to receive the uh, receive the btc or any other cryptocurrency another thing is last one thing is get it get it is a text editor which i like the most and uh, one more thing i didn't like the this in this that is pulma i didn't like the pulma text editor so you have to install the get it so for that use the sudo apt install get it and it will install the get it so it is very handy and useful also and for file manager use the cacher this one is default and very easy to manage one more last thing i want to explain is use the prefer preferred ap applications and from that oh i mean use the startup application startup application to stop the bluetooth to starting in after the boot and uh, many other things you can do that and uh, one last more thing i want to uh, show you is guys is install the snap store snap store is more likely to install this application which is very important in linux to do most of like android studio to make applications and many more things one more last thing i want to explain is we can add to this panel many more things like brightness i'll apply it and many more things depending upon your necessity you need to add this so like that i added many application on my top bar and this network manager also so like this add and then we can we can make the brightness more bright so that's it for now guys i am just a beginner so support me i have made this video for more information and uh, to spread the information knowledge and spread the love peace so thank you guys and uh, support me thanks